hello everyone and welcome back to my youtube channel um today we're discussing about the word submission submission in marriage why do most women these days find the word submission to be to be an offensive word you know they see it to be a hate speech these days a married woman but you don't want to discuss anything you don't want to have anything to do with the word submission you feel the word submission is outdated um yeah most people say most women most married women feel um submission should not be used in marriage but the truth is the word love and submission goes hand in hand husband love your wife wife submit to your husband first of all before you condemn a word you need to first of all understand what the word means a lot of people don't know the word submission they don't know what it means they interpret it in a negative way thereby creating a negative um a negative um yeah creating a negative thought about it Go to our wives with class Facebook group right now. This word submission is causing a whole lot of problem. A woman should submit to the husband. A man should love his wife. A lot of women there are saying that women shouldn't submit because it's causing a lot of domestic um abuse in marriages but submission has nothing to do with domestic abuse if a man is abusive whether you submit or you don't submit he's going to be abusive why don't we say don't get married to an abusive man to start with the bible says said in Ephesians chapter 5 from verse um, 22 to 33 Husband love your wife as God loves his church and wife submit to your husband You know, I always say this that the Bible cannot lead us astray If we, if we follow the Bible the way it is meant to be followed Without adding or subtracting, we can never like get it wrong. So that's the word of God. You don't, you don't bargain the word of God. This is how it is. And submission doesn't mean humi um, um, doesn't mean humiliation. You don't need to humiliate yourself. Submission has nothing to do with um. How do I put it? Um, you don't need to. It does not mean that you're 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 less worthy. You know, it doesn't mean that you're not um you're a slave. No. It has nothing to with to do with weakness. Do you understand? Um, how do I put it? Like submission should be like something you do out of love god said god says husband love your wife wife submit yourself but you don't submit to someone you don't love so that's indirectly telling us that we also should love our husband because out of love you submit as i said earlier you can't submit to someone you don't love you submit to someone you love so out of love comes with submission. When you love someone, you submit to them. A wise woman will submit to the husband and also control things around the house. Do you get me? A wise woman, a, a wise woman will be submissive, but at the same time, control things around the house, decides what happens in the house. So I can just tell you that submission is a a way to get 
to the heart of our men if i can put it that way you when you when you're submissive a man sees you as like yeah he's he's free when you're submissive let's just put it this way when you're submissive a man a man is free and when a man is free he doesn't feel threatened you understand the secret there he doesn't feel threatened and there as a woman this is where you come in to control things but without submission a man feels um we like to put it like this he feels threatened and when he feels threatened he he doesn't um what's the word in english he doesn't let go do you understand he doesn't let go because he feels he's having a competition right here so i need to be careful but when you submit he feels he's in control but indirectly you are in control so the word submission shouldn't be like it shouldn't be something 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 we should start making up things about you know like the word submission it means that you know you just you care about others you consider the desires of others Like a kind of, you're, you've been less self-centered. You know, sometimes we're selfish as human. But with submission, you're less self-centered. You just, you let people come in. You just allow people, give people space to come in. This is what submission is. It has nothing to do with domestic abuse. No, no, no. Anyone... Anyone connecting submission to some domestic abuse is missing something. Submission has nothing to do with domestic abuse. An abusive man is an abusive man. And you can't submit to an, uh, submit to an abusive man. Don't be stupid and call it submission. You can't be stupid and call it submission. You should be wise God says man love a man should love his wife as he loved the church a man should love you and you should submit that was why I said at the beginning that submission comes with love you love someone before you will be able to submit you can't submit to someone you don't love so a man will love you and you also have to love a man for you to be submissive so we need to get this whole thing straight we need to like iron it out so people understand because these days the moment you talk about submission people start talking about domestic abuse um, this like it was a lot going on it was a lot going on yesterday in our in our facebook facebook page marriage can never function without love and submission these are these these two are couple and these two are the foundation the primary foundation in marriage a marriage a marriage will not work out without love and and submission these are two things you know the word of god does not bring confusion it is clear love your wife submit to your husband as Christians we, we are not even supposed to argue over this as a Christian as a Christian man you should love your wife as a Christian woman you should submit to your husband like I got this um notion also yesterday some people were like yeah when you submit to your husband you're like um you're being hindered from um reaching your goal and all that that's that's rubbish 
Submission has nothing to do with domestic abuse, verbal abuse, emotional abuse whatsoever. Just is it's just a total opposite. That your submissive wife does not mean that um you can't be a lawyer. That your submissive wife does not mean that you can't be a, an engineer. That you're so, there are so many successful women here on earth today who have a very happy family who are submissive to their husband whose husbands love so so much and who submit to their husband i want to read some comments here also that i got yesterday but i don't know why um the comments are not forthcoming you know so it was a lot of things a lot of things a lot of people were like saying things that we are so contrary to the word submission it was so i was surprised you know the like uh, we, most women just couple uh, like like linked submission to abuse i hate ev anything abuse in marriage i hate i detest it and no woman should be comfortable in an abusive relationship abusive marriage is a no 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 So that I want to make clear. You don't go and submit to an abusive man. And that was why I said remove submission from abu ab um, abuse. Because it has nothing to do there. When you feel um, it's not working out for you anymore. You feel your life is in danger. Leave the marriage. But if you're in a happy home, you can, you can agree with me. This, that the secret of your happy home is love and submission. And we need to understand the definition of submission before we start disqualifying the word or before we start, um, you know, making out mountains out of it. The word submission is just so simple and easy to understand. Submission means just being less, less self-centered. You know, let it not just be all about me, all about me in marriage. It shouldn't be all about you, all about you. Always understand that there, you have a second, a second person there who is your, your partner, your husband. You know, as a woman. And you should still give him time, space to express his own um his own concern you as as you as, as you express your own concern you two have to work together you know just be a little bit selfless not all about you like it's your decision that has to be ha that, ha that has to happen here because when it's like that is a problem so if you're a single lady out there, because I saw some, some single people, single ladies in our group who were also against the word submission. And let me tell you, if you have this impression like, why should I submit to a man and you're not married yet? You, and then you have this impression like, I'm not supposed to submit to a man. Then don't, don't get married. Just be single and be happy. And this is why we have a lot of problems today because you already have this um this thing in, on your head before going into marriage like you're there to fight and cause problem and not you know you don't want to follow the rules of marriage there are rules guiding everything this is the truth there are rules written and unwritten rules that are guiding things you know everything we do so also in marriage there are rules that are guiding marriage to be in a happy marriage to be you know to be in a happy marriage and as a woman you should put you know just there are things you need to you you know that there are rules you need to follow just to be in a happy relationship and as I said earlier, if you're not ready to submit as a woman, remain single and be happy. Instead of going into marriage to give a man problem. It is as simple as that. I'm not going to 
like paint it here for anybody to to give me a round of applause but because this is what it is get married to someone who loves you so that submission won't be a problem for you so that when you get there you don't start dragging submit or not to submit get married to someone who loves you and we all are adults before you get married you will know you should know if a man loves you or he doesn't i know people change but at least if you're going into there get married to someone who loves you a lot of things will happen in your relationship that will let you know that yeah this man care about me a lot and when you're married to such a man submission won't be a problem you just submit voluntary like yeah you just submit submission like it won't be a problem you don't stress it it happens naturally but when you just rush into marriage just because you want to answer married and then when you get there you start dragging to be submissive or not to be submissive you know so let's meditate on this word let's meditate on this word the word submission what does it mean how does it help in marriage the word love what does it mean and the, what does how does it help in our marriages and uh, this is where i'll be dropping it now and till next time please like our video subscribe share comment and click the notification bell so you always get our undiluted relationship video or videos thank you very much and remain blessed